Taking a look at some training camp battles for the Seattle Seahawks today, we're beginning with the wide receiver position. Now, obviously, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, those two spots are not up for grabs. That is a very strong one-two punch at the wide receiver position. The problem becomes, well, who's the number three wide receiver? We'll break that down. Before we do, though, I want to hear from you guys. Who should be wide receiver number three for Seattle? Cast your votes for me in the comment section. And as you'll see, it doesn't have to be somebody already on the roster for Seattle. Now, the top guys on the roster that we've seen play before in Seattle, David Moore, who quite frankly took a, a, a step back this past year, was better in 2018, not as good this year. Philip Dorsett was the free agency pickup. The best production of these guys, he offers some speed. He's also never lived up to his first round uh, pick status. I like him more as a number four. And then there's also John Bursura, the uh, the second year player out of Hawaii, didn't make any real impact last year. A late round pick who maybe could compete at camp for a role, much like this year's sixth round pick out of Florida. That is Freddie Swain, who kind of like Philip Dorsett, the, the, you know, the, the, the actual receptions, the, those are lower. The touchdowns, though, are pretty high, which does fit with what Seattle's had recent success with in past years of their receivers being super efficient once it comes down to the end zone and whatnot. Now we'll break down a free agent target here, but I want to let you guys know about a unique offer. Our friends over at Fanatics and the great Marshawn Lynch have paired for the first time in Fanatics history with an individual player, or former player, I should say, for their merchandise line. Beast Mode t-shirts are on sale. A little tough to read that one but it is the I'm just here so I don't get fine t-shirt. They are all available and 30% off if you head over to chatsports.com slash beast mode T as in t-shirt. That's chatsports.com slash beast mode T. Go check it out. They've got a whole bunch of different options and colors. And I'll put that link in the comments and in the description for you. My preferred option though for Seattle is not David Moore. It's not Philip Dorsett. Of course, they can stick on the roster, especially Dorsett. It's actually Josh Gordon. Now, with Antonio Brown being, well, he's being Antonio Brown, I think Gordon makes the most sense for Seattle. The latest reports and rumors and whatnot around Gordon that, A, of course, he's applied for reinstatement, and a decision could be coming fairly soon, potentially within two weeks or so. Now, Gordon's numbers last year, they weren't incredible, and they're never going to achieve that awesome one year with the Browns where he was the number one receiver in fewer games than everyone else. But he makes sense as a fit for Seattle. He can come in and be that number three receiver. He can be a vertical threat when they go three wide. DK Metcalf on one end, Josh Gordon on the other. Put Tyler Lockett in the slot and just let Russ cook. It makes sense, doesn't it? I think it'd be a great move for Seattle. And not only that, training camp this year is going to look different. It's going to be abbreviated in terms of what it normally is. There's not going to be as much pad. There's no preseason games at all. So you want someone who has at least some familiarity with the organization, and Josh Gordon fits that mold. And of course, it would give Russ another weapon as well, an added bonus. So sign Josh Gordon. I say yes, but of course, we here at Chat Sports want to hear from you guys. Type Y for yes or type N for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Now, if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys very much, and we hope that you're liking here what we are doing at our new Seahawks channel at Chat Sports. As a reminder, more subscriptions equals more videos. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and why don't you tell a friend while you're at it.